A deadly apartment fire that claimed the life of a child and injured a firefighter and one other person. The flames broke out just before 8 this morning at the Country Club Vill Village Apartments on South Gessner at Neff. That's where we find Channel 2's Robert Arnold live at the scene with the latest. Robert? Beyond what you see here, another idea of how intensely this fire burned comes from Assistant Fire Chief Rui Lozano, who says some firefighters' masks actually crystallized and some equipment melted. Arson investigators have not yet pinpointed a cause. What is certain is a little boy lost his life and dozens lost their homes. Firefighters raced to hook up hoses and douse the flames to Bowering, the Country Club Village Apartments on South Gessner near Bel Air. It's a very difficult day, a real difficult time right now. Wind helped spread the flames through three buildings. Intense smoke trapped many who had to break out windows to escape. We just smashed the windows. The smoke was so thick we couldn't get out our front door. Several residents escaped with only the clothes on their backs. Children, some still in their PJs on what should have been a peaceful Christmas Eve, were forced to wait on the sidewalk as their homes were destroyed. Clouds of smoke also forced one family to throw their children out of a second-story window. Walter Arta was waiting below. I got the three babies. I can't get, throw it one kid front, and then pass the other one, then the other one. One child remained trapped. Firefighters rushed into the flames to try to save the boy, but he did not make it out. With the amount of fire that there was, they should have gone defensive, but when, you, when, you, when there's a potential to save a life, you, you go rescue mode. One resident and a firefighter were also rushed to the hospital. Red Cross volunteers showed up with blankets and water. Firefighters showed up with toys to try to restore some happiness to the children. We just have to leave it in God's hands and trust he will take care of us. In all, it took more than 100 firefighters to get this fire out. Uh, we lost three buildings, so each building probably had about 20 families. Do the math. We're going to have a lot of displaced occupants. Fire officials say the firefighter who suffered from smoke inhalation and heat exhaustion will be released from the hospital. A family member told us the other man who was rushed to the hospital is in stable condition. Reporting live from Southwest Houston, Robert Arnold, KBRC, Channel 2 News. Robert, thank you for that report. Just devastating.